Hello, Realtor friends. Congratulations, you have a listing. And now you need to go ahead and input it into the multiple listing service or the MLS. So it could be live on the market. And I'm going to show you how to go ahead and input your listing into the Contra Costa Association of Realtors, the Delta Association of Realtors, the Bay East Association of Realtors. And this probably works for a lot of other MLSs as well. And so I'm going to walk you guys through this process step by step. I'm going to cover with you guys what things you should know and what things you want to go ahead and pay special attention to. And also, I'm going to have a video link down below on how to supercharge your listing. So if you guys want to be able to sell your home in a record amount of days, I'm going to show you how to do that now. And I'm making this video for a house. And on average, I believe that I can sell a house within the first seven days. That's just my own belief. And I'm going to demonstrate that in this video because we're going to see what actually happens on this property and how quickly we can sell it. So we'll see if it works or if it doesn't. So let's check this out and I'll show you guys how to go ahead and get this inputted now. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and input your listing into the MLS. Basically, anything with Paragon or Bridge, um, this should be the same. And I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and input a listing. So the first thing you want to do, and this is just uh, something that I like to go ahead and try out uh, before I go ahead and input a listing into the MLS. I like to actually sometimes go and research the property a little bit because there's certain information I want to go ahead and get, uh, such as the information that's available on the public records, and this will make your job a little bit easier. So here is the house that I'm actually going to be inputting onto the MLS. It's 325 Baycrest here in Pittsburgh. I'm going to go ahead and grab a, a printout of this actual property here because what we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab a few things from this paper. One of them is going to be the year that is built and there's some other resources we can use but this is pretty um, accurate most of the time so always double check your information. We also want to go ahead and grab the APN, which is the assessor's parcel number. And in case you guys are new to real estate and you don't want to look around for this, you can go ahead and hit Control F on your keyboard. And what will happen is it will let you go ahead and search what's available. So this is the APN for the property here. And we're going to go ahead and grab that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and input this listing into the MLS. So once you're on the home screen, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click over to where it says listings. And you want to go ahead and go to where it says add listings. And we're going to click on residential. And this is part is a little confusing. So when you see this, what you want to do is click on the actual new residential right here. And we're going to go ahead and start inputting this information here. And I'm going to go through these boxes one by one with you. So we have a new listing. This is not an REO. It's not a short sale. And it's not a coming soon. My listing happens to be in Contra Costa County. It's in Pittsburgh. I'm right here for the area. Go ahead and hit the magnifying glass and there's our choices. And the zip code for our property is 94565. This is that APN number that we talked about. My property is going to be listed at 425000 You want to go ahead and put in the on-market date for your property and when the listing actually expires. So my listing here expires on the 31st of December. 
And right here, we're going to go ahead and choose townhouse. But these are your other options that are available to you. And I'm not going to go ahead and select any of these. So I normally like to focus on all the required fields. Special information. This is going to be none. Exclusive right. Make sure you check with your brokerage on what kind of listings you're allowed to take. I always do full service. And this question is really confusing for a lot of people. This just means are you guys splitting the commission equally? So I'm going to be advertising this property at 2.5% commission to the buyer. And that's the same exact amount I'm getting. So my answer is, is this going to be variable? No. So we're going to go ahead and click on the HOA and go to the magnifying glass here. Yes, it has a HOA. We're going to skip this new subdivision. You can go ahead and type in no if you want to go do that. We're going to go 2.5. And we're going to go to this is a percentage of the actual sales price. This building was built in 1983. And I normally make a little cheat sheet before I actually start working on this. It gives me most of the information that I want. So it's built in 1983. This is the owner occupancy rate. This is the HOA monthly fee. So having this information available to you is really handy. Room count, bedrooms, we have two full baths and one partial bath fireplace and we're going to go ahead and hit one in here garage spaces two square footage here we're going to go ahead and type in 1643 and you're going to come down here to where it says source we're going to go ahead and just go off of public records here but if you have an appraisal or anything else, go ahead and choose the right source for your particular calculation. This is your listing office DRE. If you have a co-listing agent, you want to go ahead and input them in here. It's a two-story. And as far as the lot, you want to go ahead and put that in as well. And right here, you're going to have to go ahead and compute this amount into how many acres this roughly equates to. So go ahead and grab a calculator. And we have our calculator pulled up here. I'm going to go ahead and take the lot size, which was 2838 and divided by 33,560. This is how many feet are in an acre. And it lets me know that this is going to be how big the lot size is as far as measured in acres. directions to the property so now you can go ahead and choose the area and and now it wants you to go ahead and input the neighborhood if you know the neighborhood um, name but if you don't just go ahead and put the city in so if I didn't know it, I would just put in Pittsburgh. 
However, for this property, I know this is going to be Bay Harbor Park. And I've entered in the cross street and also it asked me, is there a super box here? I always uh, like to go ahead and put a super box as long as I have permission from the principal. It makes showing the property a lot easier. And if your seller's ever concerned, make sure you, uh, you explain to them that you can actually set up a CBS code, which is almost another pin number on top of the super box. I normally do this and I'll show you guys why a little bit later in the description. So you can go ahead and go on, put the location in. Mine is on the gas meter. So right here where it says occupant's name, you can go ahead and put the seller's name in here. You can put seller or you can put owner. Uh, I like to go ahead and just put owner. I never provide the phone number for the owner when I'm the listing agent, just because I want the calls to go through to me, that's what the seller's paying me for, and it's a lot easier. One thing I wanted to point out is where it says seller's name. If you put the actual name of the seller, it may help the buyer's agent put that on the contract than having to look it up. Occupied by the owner and 24 hour notice required. I'm gonna go ahead and hit no. You always wanna see what your seller schedules like before you go ahead and input anything like this. So right here it says showing information. Um, you can do several different things here. I put in here, please sell, send PED. Right now we have the coronavirus going around, so we need this before anybody can actually look at property. Or you can um, also put in here a uh, two hour preferred. And this is limited by space. So you can put any direction in there that you want. Be the complex name. This is a percentage of owner occupied. So for this particular property, it's 81%. And the way you get this is you actually call the HOA when you first get the listing and you get this number here. And this is very important because a lot of times, if there's going to be an FHA loan or a special loan involved, sometimes they won't actually lend out on properties that are about 50%, 60%, and it's always changing. So make sure you get the correct number in here. So that way you're not potentially getting into escrow with the buyer that can't close because their loan restrictions prohibit them from buying a property where the occupancy level is below a certain percentage. And this is other information that you'd wanna get from the HOA as well. This is the HOA name right here. These management companies are always changing. So try to put the most relevant information that you actually have. And this HOA is at $250 a month. The frequency is monthly. Pending litigation, the answer is no. I asked the seller, and if you have this information, go ahead and put this in. I normally like to go ahead and put uh, unbranded tours right here. So if you do do things such as, so if you actually like to go ahead and use virtual tours on your listings, you can come on some of these portals like Matterport. This is Astro Room. And go ahead and click on this little share icon. And you're going to come down here and just hit copy. And when you hit copy, you would go ahead and paste that tour link right here under unbranded media. And uh, it's a pretty cool and useful tool for when you're taking listings. 
and it does give you a lot better exposure. I normally average about 150 views on this, so I know that it's getting viewed. And also, if you're using Disclosure IO, you could go ahead and put the link in here. I actually like to upload my documents to the MLS. However, if you do want to use Disclosure IO, I know for certain MLSs, they have special pricing, but they also offer a free package which actually works really well. So if you are paying for it, check that out, look at that. I think you can probably do with a basic disclosure IO link. However, the MLS works perfectly fine for uploading documents and I'll show you that later. So we're gonna go ahead and skip down here a little bit further. And next, you wanna talk to your seller or your broker about this and make sure that you have permission to Go ahead and hit yes on this. I've already talked to my broker and also my uh, seller about this particular option. So the answer is going to be yes. We want to go ahead and print the neighborhood information report here. And all these are normally checked. So your MLS might be a little different. Your brokerage policy might be a little different too. This is like an auto valuation um, tool here if you want to turn that off. Maybe if you do this, the property you won't get a automatic price on Zillow and those things. So keep that in mind. Does it have a pool? So this community actually offers a pool, but the home does not. So you want to make sure that uh, you put that in here. And then I'm going to come down here a little bit. And it says confidential remarks. And I've already done my confidential remarks. So I'm going to go and grab my confidential remarks here. And here they are. I'm going to paste that in here. We're going to cover this briefly on here. Um, and here's my confidential remarks. Easy to show, two hour notice appreciated. Select a time, and I normally use Calendarly, but the Calendarly link is really long. So I use Bitly to go ahead and shorten it because it's a lot easier. And um, you can provide any directions, such as uh, if you want a pre-approval before they show it, provide your email address. That's where they will send you the PED after they select their time. Um, and I normally will text them the CBS code for the super box after I get this and I can form it with the seller and Anything else that you think might be relevant if the seller needs a little short rent back you can put that in here send all offers to Adam at AHS Realty Pros with the pre-approval proof of funds pre-escrow is open with WFG title in Brentwood you can put the title officer's name in here and you could also go ahead and put it in any kind of uh, due dates for offers on this property the due date is going to be the 15th at 5 p.m. and this is something that I use because uh, if I get an offer and it's a really strong offer the seller does reserve that right to take that offer um, so if anybody wants to make a good offer on it they're welcome to do so the next thing here is going to be the public remarks and so here's my public remarks uh, you guys can read it for yourself I don't put basic information in that it's a two bedroom or a three bedroom I like to go ahead and describe the property a little bit more than just a basic come and see it or it's going to sell uh, or any of those kind of salesy things I like to go ahead and really showcase some of the features of the property even if they seem simple enough to you but take a few minutes and write a good ad if you possible and then you're gonna come down here and type in some additional information as far as the property and we're gonna go ahead and hit save as a partial listing just in case anything happens to our internet connection we're going to go ahead and continue input so 
I'm going to scroll back down to the bottom here. And you can go ahead and input this several different ways here um, by going box by box, or you can hit all features and basically select the features that apply to this house. So this is what I normally do. However, for this video, I'm going to show you guys the easier way to do it, which is to just go by one by one. It's a little bit easier, uh, especially if you're just starting out. So these are the HOA amenities here, and this could be a little confusing, so you want to make sure you really do your homework on, on this. And I know this HOA has a dog park, so I'm going to go to click that off. It has tennis courts, and it has a pool. So if there's anything else that you think that's important, and that you're 100% sure about, please go ahead and select that. And these are what the HOA fees actually include. So I know this HOA includes the common area maintenance and whatever other stuff you want to find out. Make sure you do that before you go ahead and select it because if you put in here that that includes water and sewer and that's not the case you might have a little bit of an issue so make sure you always do your, your due diligence ahead of time next we're going to click on the cooling here and this home actually has ceiling fans throughout and it also has central one zone air conditioning and we're going to hit save. Construction status. This is existing. These are any other disclosures that you want to go ahead and add. So if you're related to the principal, make sure you check that off right here. In my case, I don't have any of these. So I'm going to go ahead and select none. And if the property has anything extra, go ahead and choose it. I've gone ahead and selected all the features this property has. I'm going to choose the appropriate exterior features for this property. This property has a bay window, and the exterior is stucco. And I've selected my wood burning fireplace. The flooring on here, it looks like wood, but it's actually vinyl. And also, we got carpet. So I've gone ahead and selected the flooring for this property. And this property has an attached garage. So I've chosen my heating features. And I've actually sold property in this community before. I do remember all of these. I do not remember the reserve study. So I've selected that. And if I need to make any updates on anything here after the HOA docs are ordered, I want to make sure that my information here is going to match what is available there. Choose the kitchen features. Things such as microwaves. If they're personal property and the seller is not going to leave them, don't check this off. And I've gone ahead and selected my kitchen features here. And if you're not really sure about something, always find out. So if you walk through the property, and you notice that there's a microwave, you wouldn't want to go ahead and check this off unless the microwave is going to stay with the property or convey. So make sure you take good notes when you're actually walking the property and try to go ahead and eliminate any confusion when possible. 
So this is for the laundry. Go ahead and select what's the power source and if it has hookups or not or if the washer and dryer are staying and uh, just go through here. So this can be a little confusing on the next one right here where it says U level which is basically sub uh, or below the ground. This is street level and this is the upper level, right? So on this home, all the bedrooms are upstairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and mention that. Upstairs that we got a total of three bedrooms and we got a total of two bathrooms. And we're gonna hit save. And then on the street level, we have no bedrooms. We have a half a bath. That's the main entry. And if you have something that doesn't have any steps to get into the property, make sure you go ahead and check this out because that's a really desirable feature for some of our uh, more mature buyers. They really like that. So try to spend some time and actually go through this list your first time. It will really help you better focus on what property features are in high demand. And we also have the laundry facility on the street level. Right here it says a lot description. So what you can do is you can go ahead and choose your regular lakefront. If you got the corner unit, you would want to check that off. So the property that I'm selling here is the corner unit. And this would make a huge difference too if you had uh, two houses on one lawn and as you guys can see there are quite a few to choose from so right where it says pool um, I put community facility so I'm letting everybody know it's actually not part of the actual home and if you want to be even clearer you can go ahead and select none and do it this way uh, where you're saying it's community uh, facility and the house itself doesn't have any possession is going to be at the close of escrow roof this roof happens to be tile so while you're at the property always ask the seller if you're not sure uh, and make sure that you go ahead and uh, take a note on what the material is Next, we're going to go ahead and select ZC Room Additional. And over here, you're going to be able to choose any of the rooms that the property has. So if it has a dining area, you'd select it. If it has a finished basement, you would select it. There's quite a few down here. And this area really does make a difference. So a lot of agents will actually search the MLS for homes that actually have sometimes a game room or a converted garage, a workshop. Spend a few minutes in here and select any of the features that actually apply to the property. And you can go ahead and choose the style here. And I'm gonna go ahead and select contemporary. And now we're gonna click on the terms. So when you walk through the property, pay special attention to things such as peeling paint. If you see peeling paint there, you may not be able to go ahead and do an FHA financing transaction on that particular home. And make sure you know this before you actually list the property. Uh, it's gonna save you a bunch of time. So if the seller is open to any of these other kinds of financing, Go ahead and check that off but i'm going to go ahead and select cash conventional fha and choose va and we can also go cal half we can go cal vet unit features corner unit so choose any features that apply And go ahead and choose anything that applies to the property. So this has public water. It has a public sewer system. And 
if the property has a septic tank this is where you probably want to go ahead and select that for this property everything is supplied through a public utility yard description I'm going to go ahead and select any features that apply to this so I've chosen my yard description we have no solar features we're going to go full address for the internet and yes to all sites and when you hit next you're going to be now prompted to go ahead and add the pictures when it comes to adding pictures I like to do a four and one so if you guys leave a comment down below I will go ahead and show you guys how to do this one thing I like to do is instead of just showing one picture as my main picture I actually like combine four pictures into one and this actually gets a lot more traffic to your listing and once you get traffic to your listing there's a much better chance they're going to read the description and they're going to figure out that you actually are selling a really nice home here and they're going to call their agent or call you so they can actually come and view the property in person if you have a 360 tour available for them they're going to go ahead and interact with it if you have drone footage they're going to watch it so this four in one picture here guys is super cool relatively easy to do and does get you a lot more traffic so I'm going to select that as my main picture okay that picture is uploaded here and now I'm going to go ahead and upload multiple pictures here's all my pictures that I have for this property I'm going to go ahead and select them all and hit open one thing you want to make sure your picture file size is not too big these pictures were originally about 15 megabytes and I went ahead and changed them to a smaller file size so most of them are going to be under 5 as you can see my main picture here is going to be a little bit bigger and as long as it's under 10 you should be okay and I have some really cool programs that I use that make this a snap I'll have video links below from my other YouTube channel so you guys can actually learn how to do these images and learn how to go ahead and make these pictures just pop that's pretty cool and you can do it yourself I'm going to hit start upload hey guys really quick if you're enjoying this video please make sure you guys give it a thumbs up it really does help uh, the channel as far as letting Google and YouTube know that I'm bringing you guys value content here and not just making videos that are redundant so uh, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated and one other thing too is if you guys haven't heard about AHS Realty Pros here guys literally we are uh, the future in my opinion because we give you the tech the technology support the flat fee 100% commission model so we're really big on value and low on fees and we are focused on helping our agents get the most out of their business sell more real estate have a better life and also have some fun so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button okay so we're pretty much done here now and getting near that 100 percent mark so there you go all my pictures are uploaded in here and now the best part is I can just go ahead and move the pictures around and get them in the order that I want. Get them in the order you want. And after you do that, you can go ahead and hit next. So this is still a partial listing as we can see right here. We're going to go ahead and add documents guys. And the way you do documents is really easy. 
you basically take a file from your computer and upload it. So here's my seller disclosures. I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can do this all in one file. And there's a limit of 20, but I think I was at 19, so this should really work on here. So I'm going to call this 325 Paycrest. And down here you can see it's uploading. And you can upload multiple documents. So here's one. You may want to add maybe the PED home visitor guide that you normally post in front of the house. Anything else that you think is relevant. Receipts, upgrade list, whatever you have, whether it's inspections, home inspection, pest inspection, roof inspection. Go ahead and throw them in here. And this is a great little tool. You can go to your super box now and you can assign a key and you can go back to maintain listing and just make sure you got everything correct. So I'm going to go ahead and hit new on here, save, and I'm going to hit save, save listing. And it lets me know if I made any kind of uh, errors here too. So this just lets me know that I should take the time to add open house. I can't really do that right now because of COVID-19. But I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And save listing. And there you guys go. My property is now actually on the MLS and if you grab this number right here I'm going to show you what you can actually do with this you can go ahead and come down here on the left hand side and go to where it says super box and when you come here you can go ahead and assign your listing to a box and this is Pretty easy. You could also you can also go to Supra Web dot Supra dot com, and what you can do then is go and this is your Super dashboard. Once you log in, and go ahead. when you're on this page here, you can go ahead and assign an address to it, set up schedules. Put some notes in here. You could also go ahead and send yourself an email anytime the property is shown. And I've done that. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And there you go. We have saved it. Strike it, hit continued. I want to show you guys something really quick. So, as I was doing this video, I actually got an email from the service provider that I use to make my 3D tours and they let me know that my dollhouse is ready so I do these myself it takes me a few minutes to do it but I love actually making sure that we showcase the home the right way and right here this is pretty cool It has music. I'm going to turn the music off. And as you guys can see, I actually showcase the neighborhood, the side and backyard. And this is pretty cool. So you can literally walk around this house, figure out if it's the right place for you. Um, and once I get that, I actually go ahead and grab that link from here. I can share this with my social media pages and get a lot more exposure to this listing. Anytime you have one of these tours on the MLS, you want to go ahead and turn off your display if you are doing this. And I'm going to go ahead and input this into my listing now. So there's my unbranded tour. I'm going to go ahead and hit next or save. You go ahead and wait just a few minutes. You 
going to be able to actually see that this property is on the market. Um, it normally takes about 15. I've seen it happen in under five, but Zillow is not normally the first to pick up is Redfin. And I'll have other videos on how you can actually get your homes sold pretty quickly using these companies' platforms such as Redfin, Zillow, and taking advantage of what they actually offer for free. So comment down below. I'd love to make you guys a video. Realtor.com has picked it up. There is my picture. And Redfin I also picked it up and I hope the video was helpful and before you guys get going on here I just want to take a few minutes and let you guys know about AHS Realty Pros we're here in Concord California so if you're licensed in Northern California I would highly suggest that you guys actually do a little bit of research on our platform because um, we have some really great culture training we are 100% commission based, so we're big on value and low on fees. We include the best technology you can imagine. So your CRMs, your websites, your systems, everything's included. We don't charge monthly fees. And, you know, you have basically a whole team of people behind you and there for you to help you grow your business. And we do live trainings. Um, and we are seriously dedicated to agent success and uh, helping you guys sell more real estate, help more clients, and have a better life. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please comment down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and smash on that notification button because I post videos. And, and whether you guys are in Northern California, across the world, I'm here to help out and I think all real estate agents, clients, buyers, sellers, whoever is involved in, in this process can actually get more done by working together and I always try to bring you guys value. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, really quick before I let you go, I want to show you guys something in case you actually want to recall that listing and get it sold or market pending, how you do that is you go back to listings, go to maintain and you would click the top one now if you know your listing is going on the market on a Tuesday or Wednesdays that those are the best days by the way to put a listing on the market you want to go ahead and maybe input this a few days ahead of time it will make it a lot easier that way you're not sitting there last minute trying to scramble for information that you may not have so what I would suggest is always saving it as a partial listing. And myself, I like to stay up a little bit of a night owl. I'll actually get the listing to go live right after midnight. So that way I'm actually getting a lot more views. And uh, the property has a much better chance of becoming a hot home or a home that's being displayed to more buyers. These uh, online portals literally have an algorithm built in. The more somebody looks at a house, the more they'll show it. And so it's a snowball effect. So use your partial listings whenever possible. And once you've actually inputted a listing, we're going to click on listings. And your listing is going to be right here under listings. And you can click on it now. And once you get the property sold, you're going to come in here and find the agent, their DRE number, the office, and also maybe if there's a co-agent involved on the buying side, the number of offers. And for RMLS, normally it asks you if there's any concessions. Concessions are any kind of credits that you gave the buyer for maybe some repairs or the seller predator the buyer five thousand dollars towards their buyer's closing cost that's what that's for so um if you get familiar with this it's relatively easy and i'll have my information down below if you need a little help all right guys now you know how to go ahead and get a house on the mls and now you got to go ahead and get it sold so in the video description box below you will find that video on how to supercharge your listings and get it sold 
So check that out. Again, I really appreciate you guys watching. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. If it wasn't, give it a thumbs down. It lets me know what kind of job I'm doing. And I'm here to answer any questions that you guys have. And you're welcome to go ahead and leave them down below. And we'll see you on the next one. So I wanted to show you something really quick. Whenever you want to change your listing from active to pending and to sold, what you're going to do is you're going to go to where it says listings and go to maintain listings and go to pending in my case right here. So this property actually went pending in two days. And yesterday it actually uh, funded and recorded. It came in a little bit after hours. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and change the status from either active to pending or pending to sold. So what you want to do is go down to the very bottom right here and where it says sold information. I'm going to go ahead and put the proposed closing date, which was yesterday. And you want to go ahead and put the other agent's information in. So I got that in here and uh, I got one offer that was really strong in the first uh, two days and the seller decided to take it. So we went active on the 9th and we were pending on the 11th. So two days on the market. And now all I have to do is go to the very top right here, change this from pending to sold. And after I've marked it off as sold, you want to go ahead and hit save. And it's sold for 435. And it wants to know how the property was sold. So this property was financed using a conventional loan. So we're going to go ahead and select conventional and hit save again. I'm going to go ahead and put the sold price in and hit sold sold and this will go on the MLS hot sheet. There you go. This property is now sold. That easy. Introducing AHS Realty Pros, the simple 100% real estate commission brokerage with no monthly fees. You keep all the commission and pay just $495 transaction fee. AHS Realty Pros allows real estate agents to have a more profitable and robust business. AHS Realty Pros includes our cutting edge, fully automated CRM and agent IDX website at no additional cost. We have a fully equipped office that's free of charge for AHS members to use. Welcome to AHS Realty Pros. My name is Adam Baragzai. I am the brokerage manager here in Concord. And in this video today, I'm going to show you guys our central location. I'm going to introduce you to an agent who saved $480 off one of his vendor bills just today by using our cutting edge platform, as well as introduce you guys to my good friend, Kenny, the broker of record, he happens to be here as well. How you guys doing? And so let me show you guys the office. And if you guys got any questions, feel free to reach out to me or Kenny. We're going to have our contact information below. So enjoy the video. So we're centrally located in the Concord Executive Business Center, right next to Waterworld. And we are on the second floor. So this is our reception area and we have open seating so you can sit down anywhere you like and we call this a bullpen so if you just want to come in and do a quick little task you can and in each desk there's going to be a laptop that you're welcome to use and the tables adjust to make it easy for you to have a nice productive day and be comfortable there's chargers built into the side of every single desk and 
the whole onboarding process that we have is super, super easy. And I'll definitely do a one-on-one -on -one with each agent. So this is a conference room. I got a green screen set up here for you guys. So if you guys want to do video, super easy. I got the lighting, just a black screen. If you just want to take some quick pictures. And when you make your first transaction, got a beautiful belt that's been in the family for over 15 years. You can definitely ring that up. Let me introduce you guys to Suresh, who saved $480 off his Real Scout dues today. Yes, AHS did it. Now let me introduce you to Kenny Ga, our broker of record. And the best part is, Kenny is the most supportive person I've actually come across in real estate. I'm here for you. Thanks again for checking out the video. If you guys got any questions, you're welcome to visit our website. And we have a complete section on frequently asked questions about our platform, what we do for our agents, and how our high value, low fee structure really enables you to have a more profitable and sustainable real estate business. Thanks again. Bye.